Hello peoples, welcome back to another video, I am RTF, here to show you how to match sensitivity between Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. Firstly, to get it as exact as possible, we're going to need to download an external program that lets you match your sensitivity. The download link will be the first link in the description down below. Secondly, open your Minecraft edition you want to match. Since I play a decent amount of Java, I'm going to match my Java edition sensitivity and copy it over to Bedrock edition. Then open the sensitivity matcher program. It may look mildly intimidating at first, but I can assure you it's very, very easy. Set the sensitivity matcher to measure any game in the drop down menu and then go back into Minecraft. Now focus on any point in the Minecraft world. Here I have a diamond in an item frame with my crosshair looking at one of the corners of the diamond. Next is the part where we copy the sensitivity. Press Alt and Backspace and the program will attempt to do a 360 degree rotation. Most likely, the 360 degree rotation will either come up short or go too far from the spot your crosshair was originally at. If your crosshair went too far, you're going to want to do Alt and minus slash dash key on your keyboard. This will tell the program that it went too far and needs to spin less. If your crosshair came up short to the original position it was in, you're going to want to press Alt and the plus slash equal key. This will tell the program that it needs to spin more to reach the original position. Once you have done either of these options, depending on how much or how little it spun, return the crosshair to the exact position it was in before you first lined up your crosshair with something. As an example, I used the corner of a diamond in an item frame. Press Alt and Backspace once more and repeat the process. If your crosshair came short of the original spot, press Alt and Plus, then return to the original position. If the crosshair spun farther than the original spot, press Alt and Minus, then return to the original position. Repeat this multiple times until when you hit Backspace and Alt, you do a perfect 360 and your crosshair does not move. Next is the easy part. Open the Minecraft edition you want to copy your sensitivity to. I will be copying Java edition to Bedrock edition, so I will open Bedrock edition. Log on to a world and look at a point that is easy to remember, such as the corner of a diamond in an item frame. Press Alt and Backspace if you spun too far slash multiple times, reduce your in-game sensitivity. If you didn't spin a full 360 degrees, increase your in-game sensitivity. Repeat this process until your sensitivities are mostly exact. This is as accurate as you could possibly get it by adjusting the Minecraft slider. Luckily, for Bedrock Edition, I have a way to make it even more accurate. If you are fine with having your sensitivity mostly accurate, but not spot on, then you may leave the video here, but if you want your sensitivity to be spot on, then I would recommend you watch till the end. To adjust the Minecraft Bedrock slider more, you want it to go into decimal values. My Java sensitivity is equal to a sensitivity in between 7 and 8, as 7 came up short and 8 went too far. So I might want to try 7.5, right? Now how might you do that, you may ask? Hold Windows key and R, then type percent app data percent, then hit OK. Instead of going into roaming, we just want to go into app data. Then click on the folder labeled local, scroll down until you see a folder named packages. Click on that. Then you're going to want to find a folder labeled microsoft.minecraftuwp. Open that. Open local state, go to games, then com.mojang, finally go into Minecraft PE and open options.txt. This is where all your Minecraft Bedrock settings are, just more complicated and you can do more with them. As an example, you could set up Toggle Sprint in vanilla Minecraft using this, but we'll save that for another video. Scroll down until you see a setting known as CTRL underscore sensitivity to underscore mouse. It should be the same value that your current sensitivity is on. Currently, it's on 0.08, which is 8 out of 100 in the Minecraft mouse sensitivity slider in Bedrock Edition. Here you can mess around with it a bit more. Just know it'll take a little bit longer as whenever you change the value, you will need to save. Do Ctrl and S to save, and then relaunch Minecraft. 
As you can see, now when I press Alt and Backspace, the crosshair does not move as 0.076 or 7.6 cents is the perfect match sensitivity to 25% sensitivity in Java Edition. If you have any questions about this annoying process, please comment down below. I honestly have no idea why Microsoft wouldn't just use the same sensitivity values for both editions. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found the tutorial helpful, and see you in the next video. Bye bye